Hi, my name is Gerhard Schwander and today I'd like to share with you new ideas for managing your negative self-talk. You may have heard the research from NIH saying that we experience over 60,000 thoughts a day and the interesting part is that 80% of those thoughts are negative. So how do you know this is true? And who cares about research? What are you doing here? I'm, I'm recording a video on self-talk. Well, I'm your self-talk. Um, wh why do you wear a tie? <laughs> I, I bet that the millennials in the audience, they're laughing at you right now. Please, leave me alone. I'm working. What tools do you use to manage your negative self-talk? Please take a moment to download your workbook and complete that self-talk self-assessment that you find in your workbook. Honestly, do, do you think that salespeople will fill out your silly form? You don't make any sense. Do you realize that you're interrupting me and, and uh, you, you make me doubt myself and, and you're throwing me off my game? Stop now! Don't start to boss me around. I'm your self-talk and you have to listen to me. I'm the boss. No, I'm the boss. Get out of my way. I'm sure that you're wondering why I created that little skit. It's, it's not just to illustrate an example of the internal dialogue that can disrupt your performance. I wanted you to think about this question. Where does negative self-talk come from? I know only a few people who don't have it, but most people's minds are filled with the voice of their inner critic? The answer, it is an unconscious process. And with a little work, you can make it work for you instead of allowing it to handicap your performance. Take this video that uh, I was thinking about creating something new. And I came up with this idea actually in the shower last week and, and I didn't act on it. I was wondering why did I hesitate for a week before moving forward with this project? Do you know where I'm going with this? My inner critic held me back. And here's my theory. Whenever you attempt something that hasn't been tried before, like you want to double your sales, your unconscious mind reactivates past experiences. Let me show you. Let, let's call in my inner critic. Hey, yes, how can I be of disservice to you? Who gave you the voice of doubt and negativity? Great question. I let you in on my secret. Let me show you how. This is a flashback to my childhood. Get my parents in the living room talking about me while I'm listening behind the door. This gave me the opportunity to become my own inner critic. But this spilled also my desire to prove my father wrong. Nobody is born with self-doubt. Self-doubt comes from childhood experiences where you internalize the doubts others had in you and your abilities. And with your permission, those doubts took up residence in your mind. So, when you face growth challenges, the inner critic appears and plays a leading role in the shadow theater of your mind. It's like a virtual reality program that can diminish your ability to perform at your best. The big question is, what tools can you use to neutralize your inner critic? Your mindset is shaped by the narrative that flows from the many experiences you've had in your past. And here's a quick illustration. Imagine each one of these dots represents an experience and each dot contains the story you crafted to describe and explain the experience. Your mind creates the story of you based on the stories you select and which dots you connect. I've looked at many of my experience through a distorted lens and I've learned that once you improve the narrative, your mindset will shift and your feelings and your fortunes will improve dramatically. Here are five steps for silencing the inner critic 
and eliminating your negative self-talk. Number one, identify the birthplace of your inner critic. Only you know the ghosts in the shadow theater of your mind. Number two, replay the highlights of that scene. My mother asked, why is Gerhard different from the other brothers? My father said, he'll never amount to anything. Number three, question the validity of that story. Is it true? It's completely false. He may have been disappointed that I didn't walk in his footprints. He was dead wrong about me and my potential. Number four, let's bring other people and their voices into the narrative. Those are the inner champions. My grandmother thought the world of me. My mother gave me positive feedback and support. My uncle thought I was talented. My teachers encouraged my ideas. Number five, as you activate the memories of your past champions, you will connect different dots and that changes the story of you. The key to silencing the inner critic is to create a new narrative by connecting the dots that are more representative of who you really are. And that is the best version of you. Remember, you can fire the inner critic and replace it with your inner champions. Now, allow me to finish with a little poem. The story of you is not always true. Your inner critic is a master of distortion, jumping to conclusions out of proportions. You want to thrive and be your best and lay the ghosts of your past to rest. Please download your workbook now so you can engage in a few transformative exercises. Thank you very much.